and thank you for joining me. I'm Stacy, and we're in my little home studio for class number five of a gentle chair yoga series. We want to have a chair with at least two legs on a non-slip surface. We'll need a block out in front, and we'll just sit in mountain pose, perhaps with our feet on each side of the block. Coming up, sitting nice and tall, shoulders over hips. We're sitting slightly forward on our chair. And my hands can be on our thighs or release to our sides, palms facing forward. Take a big breath. Turn our head a couple times. Allow the chin to come towards the chest. And up. Lower our shoulders. And sit nice and tall. Extending the right leg out long and in, in. Extend the other leg out long and in. Let's take it to the side and in and up to the side and in. Maybe a couple times that felt good. Coming back to center. Let's take the right foot and place it on the block. So now our knee is basically in line with our belly button. Take the other leg and extend it out. So we want to try to keep our ankle underneath our knee. So we may need to move the block or just adjust our knee a little bit. Moving for a gentle spinal twist. Marichi three, placing both hands to the outside of the raised thigh. Take a long, deep breath in and exhale, turn to the side. You can take your right hand and hold on to the back of the chair or leave both hands on your thigh. Turning to look to the side, feeling a gentle stretch. We always want to go as far as the stretch, but never strain and certainly never pain. We can turn our head a little bit more, so ears over shoulder. If you find that you've got more room to twist, then just take your shoulder back a little bit more. Take a nice deep breath. As we exhale, we're going to come all the way around to the other side. Moving back to center, hands on thighs, keeping those knees still. Inhale, lengthen, and hinge forward. Remember, our hinge is from like a right angle, it's squeezing. So from the torso comes towards thighs. Inhaling, lifting with the chest, roll the shoulders back. Let's do that. Knees to chest pose again. I guess it's chest to knees pose or one leg forward fold, lifting up and rolling back. Bring the other leg in, right leg to the earth, hands to our thighs and take the right hand, pull it onto the chair to start. Extend the left leg out to the side, Just finding our balance and then switch hands sweeping one hand up, and for garden gate, beam, this is like the worries we've done, except we've got the knee forward rather than out to the side. Very similar to reverse warrior. Coming back in, bring the hand down. Let's draw the foot in. Hands to our thighs for a gentle, relaxing child's pose, big back breath and release, hands on thighs, lifting with the chest, rolling the shoulders back. Let's take the other leg on the block, extend the foot out, hands to the thighs, Mariti three on the other side, inhale, lengthen, exhale, turn. Remember, we can turn our head so our ears over our shoulder, we can be holding onto the chair. If we want to turn our head more and it's starting to pass our shoulder, our shoulder goes first, deepening the twist. Big breath. As we exhale, release all the way to the other side. Coming around front, hands to thighs, lengthen, one leg forward fold. Lifting with the chest, coming up, nice and tall. Take a breath and release, lifting up, 
Bring our hands, chair, leg down. Extend the leg out. Then making sure we're holding on behind the extended leg, sweep the other hand up. Remember we lengthen. This is garden gate. Take a breath, bring the hand down, walk that foot in, sliding into child's pose, take a big breath, feeling our back ribs open, release, hands to our thighs, lift, lift the chest, shoulders back, walking our feet out to wide leg foundations. We've got hips, knees, and toes in a line. Exhale, hinging forward into a wide leg forward fold, taking that block and standing it on its end. And lifting back up. I'm just going to just release them a couple times. Coming back to center, hands on thighs, lengthen, hinge. Let's take the right hand onto the block, leaving the left hand where it is. Finding our balance, perhaps transferring some weight through our shoulders to the earth through our hand. And take the other hand and lift it up so it's level with the shoulders. I'm going to Release my head so it's in line with the spine. And if you'd like to add on, take a breath and just reach up slightly. Perhaps for a couple breaths. And exhale down and allow it to float in front of your shoulder, past the block and touch the underside of the other thigh. The variation of half knot or thread the needle. So many different names we can use. Sweeping up either to shoulder height or a gentle stretch. Releasing down. Both hands on the block, finding your balance, bend to the thighs, lift with the chest, coming up. It's just a couple gentle twists. Back to center. Inhale, lengthen. Eye leg forward fold. Left hand on the block, finding our balance first. Like a three-legged stool or something. Lifting the other hand, level with the earth. And if we want, add that gentle twist. And it may go further or not as far as the other side. Your body will be the guide and allow it to be the guide. Couple breaths. And lower it down slowly. In front of the elbow, knee, behind the block. Touching the underside of the other thigh. Notice our shoulders come together. With a breath, inhale, sweep it back up. More level with your shoulders. Exhale down. Finding our balance. Hands to thighs, lift with the chest coming up. Let's just release the heels. Put some pressure on our legs. Shaking it out. Walking our feet to you. Just beside the block. Rolling our shoulders. Inhale, exhale into child's pose while we're here let's lower the block down and perhaps turn it sideways just in front of our toes lifting with the chest rolling back and now for a nice relaxation we have des work to deserve it draw that block in we can press our feet lift our feet up onto the block and we're closer to the back of the chair rolling our shoulders and our knees can be together. Depends on the width of your blocks, or if you're using a block. Take a deep breath. Feeling safe and secure, I invite you to consider closing your eyes. You may want to be holding on. Allow your chin to come down. And lift to neutral. Turn to each side. Perhaps take the next few moments on your own to sit quietly, turning your thoughts inward, taking a moment to thank yourself for being here. I thank you for joining me. Namaste. I hope to see you again soon.